Hello and welcome to another episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about secrets and Kubernetes secrets. So we'll talk about these two topics. Uh, this should be actually a very fairly short episode, but hopefully very insightful around just handling secrets in Pulumi and how to deal with secrets in Kubernetes. Let's get started. So uh, I have an empty project here. We're doing this in TypeScript today. Uh, last couple episodes were in other languages, so I decided to do some TypeScript. And uh, today, uh, first, I guess, let's just talk about like generating a value and then also like what does it mean for something to be secret? Um, so in Pulumi, there's this concept of secrets and, and same thing in Kubernetes, and they're slightly different uh, in terms of what they do. Um, but first, let's just start to, to, like, let's just generate some data. So we can actually do this with the random package. So I've imported the random package here. I'm in a Pulumi uh, environment already. And so we can actually just do something like this. We can just say const, you know, like value uh, equals, and we can say we can do new random, and we can, you know, say we want a password. Um, so we'll give it a name. And uh, this takes a length, uh, and I believe that's all we need. Uh, you can see all these other op options are optional. So let's just give it a length of 16, and let's uh, get that, let's export that value. So we'll call this export uh, PW, oops, and yeah, result. Okay, so this should just give us a random value, and um, let's see how let's see what this does. So you can see we create this resource random password, and you can see we export, and you can see we, in plain text we have this this password. Um, and so obviously this is not what we want. We want this to be a actually you know a, a value that's secret and, and encrypted in our state. So if we if we look at you know Pulumi stack export, uh, if we look at this, uh, we can also see here that this is just right there straight out in the open. Uh, completely unencrypted. And so that's not really what we want. Uh, we want this to be a secret. So how do we do that? We can actually use this thing in Pulumi called uh, additional secret outputs. And this lets us specify if there are any fields uh, that we want to be marked as secret. So in this case, we want the result to be marked as secret. And we can run Pulumi up again. And let's see what this does. So you can see it's actually going to change this from what it used to be into a secret. So if we run this, and now we go and try to look at our stack, uh, we can actually see that here now it's, 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 it's an encrypted value. So this is no longer uh, in plain text in our, in our state. Uh, it's, it's nicely hidden. Um, and, and this is related to the idea that you know when you, when you have configuration in Pulumi, so if you have Pulumi config set, you know, we'll just call this uh, uh, key, and we have some value, uh, let's just call it value. Um, you know, in the config, uh, oops, uh, it just it's just there, right? Key value. And so, again, you know, in a configuration, you can have things that are secret as well. So we can actually do this. And if we do, if we look at that now, we can see that this is actually marked as as a secret. And so if we if we actually look at the file, um, we can see here it's actually a it's a secure string. So this is this is also encrypted uh, using using the secrets provider. So that's kind of the, the similar things are happening there. We can actually bring that value in. So if we um, So let's so we bring in the config, and then we can say, and so we can try to export this, and let's see what happens. And we should see the same thing. You can see here. The, the secret key is still a secret. And so it's, it's never exposed uh, in plain text, even though um, obviously we, we know during a program execution what the value of this is. So at any point during the execution of this program, we can pass these in 
to other things. And so this is where uh, Kubernetes secrets come in, uh, or what, what, I, what I want to talk about today. Um, so you can totally imagine, you know, you want to provide this secret value uh, in your cluster and use it in some way. And so you could do uh, something like this. And so you can create a, this is the, a secret that's native to Kubernetes API. And this takes uh, some arguments and here we'll give it string data. And we'll just call this, you know, uh, key. And we can give it the value and here we can give the, the secret. And once again, you know, let's just, let's just verify that uh, this is all nicely um, nicely hidden. Uh, we can export this. And so now you can see we're going to go create this this Kubernetes secret. I, I'm running Minikube on my machine, so it's gonna it's gonna stick into into my local uh, Minikube cluster. And you can see once again that. You know the secret is actually the secretness is passed through. Uh, so what's nice is is you know here you can see that this was marked as a secret, and because it's still secret, the it it it, it uh, the secretness propagates through to to the other uh, outputs of this particular of this particular resource. So here it is still secret because when it came in it was secret, uh, and so secretness is something that that propagates throughout the program. Uh, and so if we if we go back to our uh, stack export and we kind of look at what's in here, uh, if we come down here, you can see in our resources, you know, all this stuff, all of these outputs are always uh, uh, always encrypted. And so so none of those things are ever exposed um, to the program. And you can see here in in the resource itself, same thing. Uh, those are never really exposed uh, in any way, uh, except you know obviously until it's until it's used at runtime. Uh, so whether that's you know in in Kubernetes if we you know if you're using using kubectl or in some other you know some other fashion uh, by obviously by the pod uh, for for uh, for the service. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of walk through uh, the various ways of, of making secrets and passing secrets around, and then also finally uh, creating a secret uh, in Kubernetes. So hopefully secrets are no longer a secret to you, and you'll be able to use them with great success in your programs. So thanks for watching. Please uh, follow us on Twitter uh, at PolumiCorp or follow me directly at LMZen. Uh, please like this video and also subscribe to Pulumi TV. Uh, make sure you hit that little alert button to get notified of new episodes. Uh, we'll do Modern Infrastructure Wednesdays, obviously every Wednesday, but also uh, make sure you get alerted to all the great content that we're posting to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you next week.